We bring you the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. The Philippine National Police allayed public fear amid the several reports of abductions and killings in the past few weeks. PNP Chief General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. said the peace and order situation in the country is stable. Speaking at the Police Service Anniversary Celebration in Pampanga, Azarin announced that the PNP's crime data shows a steady decline in crime trends over 12 years since 2010. He also noted that index crimes such as murder, homicide, physical injury, theft, robbery, rape, and car theft have also been on a downward trend. Meanwhile, PNP spokesperson Colonel Jean Fajardo said the PNP has intensified its monitoring, especially around crime-prone areas, to ensure safety of learners and the general public. But she also noted that the crime rate in the country remains low. Yet, police visibility deployed during the opening of the face-to-face -face classes will be maintained. Around 24 to 25,000 police personnel were deployed during the official start of in-person classes. Wala po tayong nakikita na pattern na masasabi po natin na meron po tayong mga tinatawag na mga serial rapists o serial murderers dahil yung mga nahuli po sir na suspect na na involved dito po sa mga kasong ito ay may kanya-kanya po sir silang motibo kung bakit po nila ginawa itong mga kaso po na ito at uh, wala po tayo gaya nga nang nasabi ko wala hindi po magkakakonect so kakonekta itong mga kaso na ito the Department of Interior and local government orders an immediate probe on supposed food inadequacy among inmates as well as the temporary relief of jail warden Chief Inspector Norberto Michano. This came after Iloilo District jail inmates held a protest because of food deprivation. In a statement, the DALG said it has issued an order to BJMP Chief Alan Eral for an investigation. It also ordered the BJMP to address the concern of the inmates and ensure that they are receiving enough food and other essentials. At least 100 persons deprived of liberty or PDLs staged a protest and gathered at the roof of the jail's administrative building yesterday. Interior Secretary Ben Avalos meanwhile assures the DALG remains committed to ensuring humane safekeeping of the PDLs in the country. The local government of Iloilo also extends assistance for the PDLs in the region. The Department of Justice warns telecommunication companies and internet service providers to stop the promotion of online sexual exploitation of children or OSEC or else be charged of as accessories to a crime. Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia said he would be sending letters to the telcos and ISPs to formally relay his message that they should filter transactions related to OSECs being posted online. He gave them until September 15 to comply. Remulia also said the National Telecommunications Commission should impose steep fines against telcos and ISPs that fail to cooperate. Officials from Facebook Philippines and Facebook Asia coordinated with the DOJ on the drafting of the implementing rules and regulations for Republic Act No. 11930 or the Anti-Online Sexual Abuse and Exploitation of Children. Aside from Facebook, the DOJ would also coordinate with TikTok and other social media sites to alert them about being used to exploit children. In news overseas, at least 22 people were killed and dozens wounded in a Russian rocket strike on a Ukrainian train station just as the Ukraine was celebrating independence anniversary. In a video address to the United Nations Security Council, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the rockets hit a train in the small town of Chepli, west of Russian-occupied Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. Zelensky said Ukraine would make Russia take responsibility for everything it had done. Despite public celebrations being cancelled, many Ukrainians marked the August 24 holiday by wearing embroidered shirts typical of the national dress. Ukraine's army high command said Russian air and missile strikes on military and civilian targets alike continued through Wednesday. Russia has repeatedly denied its forces are aiming at civilians. 
That's the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I'm Stephanie Civiliano. Good day.